Hi guys, I was starting the React Native project, the Expo project, and I all of a sudden found that somebody is facing an issue to how to install or how to restart it. So what all you have to do is type command space and type Xcode and hit enter. It will show you a prompt something like this one. So you have to select any Mac OS or whatever you want and just select and install it. All right, once you install that one, you have to go and click Xcode, go to open developer tools and select the simulator. As soon as you select the simulator, it will pop up something like this. Okay, and this is how you, you know you can open the simulator and start coding on it. All right, let me go and hit this command to create a new export project. So I wanted to have a default one. That's fine. Could be my app. That's fine. I don't want to worry about those things. I just wanted to see that whether I'm successfully running that simulator or not. All right, this is what it is. So now we got this one. I just go inside my app and then just quickly run whatever I want to run, like npm run iOS, hit it. So it is saying that cannot find this one. So what you have to do, you have to go over here and hit it. And then you have to install this particular thing. Just copy this and paste it over here. And boom, now if I run npm run iOS, and just wait and it should work in our OS. Let's run it. And here you go. As soon as I installed that one, it is launching that app inside the simulator. Just need to wait for some time. And there you go. We got the our app that is called my app up and running over here. That we successfully ran it and we can see that app is running over here. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly going to go and start creating some other projects such as something like this one. So I got in the Shopee e-commerce app. So I'll be building these clothes shops for women clothing or something like that using Cursor AI. So I'll be plucking that one with something like this architecture. We'll be having mobile app with Expo and Superbase. So those are the new tech stack, but everything I'll be configuring or working with Cursor AI. So those three combination in 2025, you have to use those tools to build application much faster and make yourself more productive. Okay, so I'll be showing you that how to use Cursor AI with the combination of Expo and Superbase with best practices of all the senior software engineer or solid principle design patterns and each and everything. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Let's just get it started to the next video, which will be creating the new e-commerce app. Thanks for watching.